It's that stay at home and leave me alone look. Well, hello everyone, it's me, Christine, again. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to 2021. It's time for some New Year's resolutions. This year, I'm gonna be a better me. I'm gonna do some nail art. Hey then, it's not New Year, new me, it's New Year old, simply. <laughs> so I was on the Google looking for what to do with my life this year when I came across this article. The eight biggest nail trends coming in 2021. I should probably pay attention. It's an article by Allure, a magazine I used to read when I was 17, but they have a blog now, so that's cool. Pro nail artists break down their predictions for the trends and designs that are bound to be big next season. Their top takeaway, the impact of shelter in place orders and working from home amid the pandemic will linger well into the new year. Sounds optimistic. <laughs> the year 2020 was particularly trying and interesting for the beauty world as a whole. Interesting, that's all they got. <laughs> but it was especially so for our nails. Yes, our nails have definitely suffered the most. <laughs> Thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw closure and timid reopenings of nail salon and increase in eczema. Honestly, like, yes. Seeing as we're all in the dark about what 2021 will hold for our normal lives, the same can certainly be said for nail trends. Oh, I feel bad for the author of this. She's like, probably feels really guilty writing about this because it is just not the most important thing. Here are the biggest 2021 nail trends to watch out for, according to the experts who know. <laughs> no one asked me. First up, we've got multicolored manicures. This looks like me when I test Hollow Taco prototypes. Every nail is a different shade. <laughs> and with this, the only skill required is knowing how to paint your nails. We got it. We got this one, fam. Now, is there any methodology to which colors or can you just go wild? Keep all of your polish in the same color family to create a light to dark ombre effect. All right, let's do the nails. And by uh, let's do the nails, I mean let me show you the nails I spent the last two weeks over Christmas break doing. So we starting off with a base coat. I've been using Peely and Smoothing Base together because I can. Make it your own, but keep it in the same color family. And I think I'm gonna stay in the hollow family. <laughs> and here we go. We are doing nail art in 2021, guys even though it's just putting on different colors of nail polish on each of your fingernails. <laughs> hey, maybe that's nail art of the future. Yeah, it's like not setting much expectations for ourselves and in turn, not doing much at all. <laughs> is that sad or is that smart? All right, now we're gonna seal in our hard work with a nice thick coat, a glass of taco, roll the taco. <laughs> Hit my cat ears because we want to make this year nice and shiny and we also want it to dry quickly and uh, last longer. Actually, I'm not sure if we want it to last longer. Get back to me on that one later. <laughs> Et voila, quel effort, ooh la la. All right, here's the pro nail artists from the articles and here's my picture. <laughs> I don't have cute rings because uh, I don't know, I, I never properly learned to accessorize, I guess. So do we like this trend? I mean, I think most people could agree that painting a fingernail a different color is easy. And the best part of all is that you can use five to 10 different nail polishes in this manicure if you put one on every single fingernail. It's the little things like that that will make our lives just a little bit more exciting this year. <laughs> Next, we've got personal statements. Ooh, love letters of the nails. People are looking for new ways to express themselves and that's why runway and editorial nail artist Gina Edwards foresees a spike in calligraphy and other hand lettering on manicures soon. I mean, this assumes people can write in calligraphy or even, even know what it is. Do you know what calligraphy is? <laughs> so I could just go the sticker route or the decal route, but I think I'm gonna challenge myself this year and try and paint it. And hey, shout out to all the nail artists featured in this article. They're all really good. Not like me, <laughs> but I'm out of practice, but we trying here. Okay, so my nails are stained as hell, not because I'm dirty, but because I am constantly changing my nail polish. So often when you're working with really pigmented polishes, they will inevitably stain the nail plate, even if you use a protective base coat. Although I'm normally not wearing a protective base coat, I'm normally just wearing Peely base. So polishes have a tendency to kind of like stick into the nail and just turn them yellow. Doesn't mean I'm dying, doesn't mean I'm dirty. Just 
reminding people who haven't seen my my historical video of why yellow nails don't matter. That's a piece of history right there if you haven't seen it before. Anyways, to help even out the staining, what you can do if your nails are like mine is to use two coats of smoothing base, which is kind of like a foundation for your nails. It's not full coverage, you can still see through it, so you'll see the natural tip of the nail, but it's more like a BB cream, or a, is it a CC cream? <laughs> I don't know. I like the nail artist pink jelly vibe she's got going on here, so I'm just gonna use a random jelly nail polish I have, just one coat. It has a little bit too much coverage than I was hoping for. I was hoping for it to be like a little sheerer, but it kind of works. Next, to make this manicure my own, I'm gonna add a hollow taco. <laughs> Who could have guessed that? Y'all were waiting for that. <laughs> I'm using scattered hollow taco here and ooh, she's a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I actually have this calligraphy brush from a set I bought years ago. It's a little bit frayed at this point, but it is great for painting flowy letters and objects. I'm using some black acrylic paint here, which acrylic paint is easier to work with than nail polish for most people, just because it's easier to manipulate and it's a bit thinner. I definitely recommend it for more detailed nail art work like this. Now I don't know calligraphy letters off the top of my head, so I'm drawing inspiration. <laughs> drawing inspiration from, okay. From quote unquote medieval or old English style letters. I don't know, I mean, it just looks like fancy and expensive calligraphy to me. So we've got an S and an I and an M and a P. We got Sim for Simply. And now we're gonna add a nice thick coat of Glossy Tago. And wow, this actually looks good. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I managed to put the L and the Y in simply on my thumb, but then I realized I had to get into this god awful hand pose. Like, never do this. It's the ugliest hand pose to ever exist. <laughs> get me out of here. All right, so how'd I do? <laughs> Apart from the Canadian winter scenery, I'm not in New York, I'd say I nailed this trend. I don't mind the calligraphy trend on nails or funky letters like this. I think it's fun to use your nails as a, as a public book or a billboard of sorts. But I probably wouldn't make a habit of writing my own name on my body places. <laughs> There's something about that that's a little weird. It reminds me of those bead necklaces we had in like 1998 where you'd spell out your name and put it around your neck. If I did that today, I'd be like, Hi, my name is Christine. I'm 32 years old. I live in the capital of Canada. I love cats and hollow is life. <laughs> Ironically, that's how I actually talk sometimes. Next up, we've got embellished and pre-painted press-on nails. Ooh, it's not winter over there. This easy DIY manicure technique made a major comeback in 2019 and only flourished more when we got caught at home in 2020. While salons were shut down, nail artists began commissioning custom press-on sets to send directly to their clients. That's not a bad idea. So basically they predict that more people will be sticking on fake nails because they can't get acrylics at the salon. I mean, like, I, I kind of understand that, but at the same time, you could just paint your natural nails. <laughs> Come on, man, it's the year of trying to grow out your nails. I know you can do it. Just, just stop biting them. I'm talking to you. Stop biting your nails. Use some nail oil, be gentle, always wear nail polish, and don't use your nails as tools. It's gonna be your year. <laughs> but all right, let's uh, put some fake nails on, just for fun. So I found these fake nails in my cupboard from uh, companies that have sent me PR that I never used. But ooh, look, Swarovski crystals. Now, I think we all know that press-on nails generally don't stay on very well. And if they do stay on with the glue they provide, which is essentially super glue, then I've always found that can kind of damage your nails. So for that reason, we're not gonna be gluing them on. We're gonna be sticking them on with tape. <laughs> The old tape trick. Now, yes, I'm pretty sure I have some uh, self-adhesive strips somewhere lying around that I could use to stick these on, but uh, I couldn't find them. So we're just using tape and rolling it around to make it double-sided. <laughs> and how's the fit? Not bad, but also not that natural looking, huh? <laughs> My nails are quite thin and narrow compared to the average nail. And yes, out of the whole box, these were the best fit fake nails. They don't look that bad in terms of color and finish, but they're not really my aesthetic. They're more of a, an Instagram girl with a small white dog with uh, R-style swipe-up links aesthetic. 
you know the one. Personally, I'm not into wearing fake nails because I have my own nails, which I enjoy painting, but I think this is a good idea for people maybe who like the nail art that their nail artist at their salon could do, and now they can't access those services, so this is a not bad idea. All right, next we've got throwback designs. Nostalgia has also been a key factor of 2020 for obvious reasons. Why? Because we want to escape? <laughs> and so this is why there's been a wave of retro revival through manicures that give a nod to the 60s and 70s aesthetics. Like, I mean, do we really want to go back to the 60s and 70s where human rights were arguably much worse? I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> this is expressed through rustic shades paired with pastel brights and graphic swirly patterns that are therapeutic to execute. Ooh, we love a free therapy session. <laughs> Okay, so we're basically looking for a retro pattern here that would be easy to translate into a nail art technique. Something like this, yes. No, 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 exactly this one. I could make this with a striping brush and a dotting tool and sell it to Don Draper. I pulled my SE cremes out for this one to get some rustic shades. We're starting out with this burnt orange color as the base. Wow, look at that color. It's like the opposite thing of what I would wear. <laughs> I'm taking my striping roses, <laughs> dipping them in white acrylic paint. So I'm doing the white acrylic paint first because number one, it, acrylic paint's easier to manipulate, as I mentioned before. And number two, it will serve as the base to brighten the nude that we will put on after. Because if we put the nude polish directly on the burnt orange polish, you're not gonna see it as well. So adding that white base just helps like brighten it first. Now we're using a dotting tool for the circle parts. And I've grabbed this nude OPI shade and I'm just gonna cover all the white areas with it. There, see? Perfect nude color over a darker shade. Don't say you didn't learn anything from this channel. <laughs> now let's go in with a dark brown shade and add some thinner lines and smaller circle dots. And finally, to make this Manny feel a bit more like me, because right now, it is, I don't know who, the, who she is. <laughs> I'm gonna add some hollow dots with a mystery pastel yellow hollow. Hmm. Maybe this feels like a springtime hollow, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Now we add a nice thick coat, a glass of taco, and I get questions sometimes about how not to smudge your nail art when you're putting on the taco and then you've had like layers of other colors underneath. And I think this is a great question, especially because this is exactly the kind of mani that the average person might smudge because it has the darker polish right underneath there and it is at risk of being dragged by the taco. I like to avoid smudging mostly by floating the glossy taco over the nail art very, very lightly, just like float it. Don't stick and pull it, just float it <laughs> with a nice thick coat, maybe thicker than you normally do, but don't worry if you're working with a good glossy taco, then it'll settle nice over top of the nail art and dry appropriately. I'm sorry, I don't have any funky rings again, but uh, I do have a sweater on, so. I think 60s and 70s retro designs can be cool, but it's probably a harder technique for the average person to execute at home. So I don't think it's gonna be a wild trend or anything for that reason. I also hate this color scheme. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like dirty and sad. <laughs> Maybe if it was more of a muted teal or a purple or something, I would like it more. But the burnt warm colors are like every beauty guru's eyeshadow. They're just not for me. Next up, we've got going on mute. It's what Ben says to me when I'm being annoying. Celebrities have been leaning towards bright colors with muted, what, what celebrities? What events have they been going to? <laughs> Stop them. They are also common colors that have a feel good mood. Do they? Does, th does this color make you feel good? I don't know. Makes me feel like, makes me feel like uh, pistachios. <laughs> I happen to find this pistachio green from my SEPR collection here. <laughs> Finally putting these to good use. And this is pretty easy. I applied three coats for full opacity and then added a nice thick glassy taco. And here we go. But what the hell is the nail artist using as her background? Is that a chic leopard cushion? Or maybe a faux fur rug? Well, I don't have either, but I do have a cat. Menchie. <laughs> Okay, now I know this is supposed to be going on mute. You're supposed to take it from here and bring it down here. But it also said these nails are supposed to evoke a feel-good mood. 
Just add a hollow taco, make your year better. <laughs> now that's like nail art without the effort. Sometimes I just wish we could add a hollow taco to everything and make it better, eh? And now we need to pose again, this time with Xyler as a background. Thank you, Xyler, for your services. <laughs> now the next two I find very similar. We've got negative space, which is where you have the natural nail exposed in the design itself particularly at the base of the nail, so you don't notice much nail growth as the nails grow. And then we've got minimal graphics, which as they describe it is beginner friendly nail art with subtle curves, angled lines, and random dots. It just so happens that this particular graphics design is also a negative space design. So I'm just gonna combine the two concepts into one. For the foreseeable future in 2021, manicures probably aren't going to be as accessible as they were before the pandemic. Well, why do these people not have nail polish at home? <laughs> now, I normally don't do negative space nail designs because yes, my nails are stained and when they're stained unevenly, it can distract, I think, from the nail art. But I'm gonna try here and use some smoothing base to help even out the stains and try to make this a look work for me. Then I went in to freehand coat the tip in a secret pink creme <laughs> that won't be a secret later in 2021. And now I'm adding a glossy taco because we're not finished, but we're gonna add nail vinyls next. That way you've sealed and dried the polish underneath so you can safely put the sticker on on top and when you peel it off, it's not gonna peel off the polish underneath. I just grabbed some basic French tip vinyls here, but I'm gonna put them on differently and not basic because it's 2021 and I need to express myself artistically and creatively while opting for self-care at the same time. <laughs> I painted the tip and the side edge of the nail with blue freezy, a royal blue linear hollow. And now we peel off the vinyl and a little bit of cleanup on aisle three, please. And then I was still bored. So I added some silver hollow dots <laughs> using a secret silver linear hollow polish. <laughs> I really need to stop doing that and <laughs> showing you guys everything that's coming out this year. <laughs> Anyways, um, there we go. That looks fun. Glossy taco. You know the drill. Not bad. A little unintentionally 80s almost. And I can definitely see why this kind of design is a good idea for longer wear, since you're not gonna notice growth at the base of the cuticle. That is, of course, if your nails don't chip at the tips before then. No rings, uh, but I think I've nailed this fake sunshine shadow shot down here on this wall <laughs> with my iPhone flash. And what's that she's holding her nails over? Blush $600 pajamas. Okay, here's mine. <laughs> All right, last up, we've got mask matching. Wow, yeah, yeah, we're really doing that, aren't we? <laughs> Let's face it, wearing a face covering in public is probably going to be a withstanding part of our lives throughout and probably after 2021. Yes, it is socially distanced, be responsible, wear your face mask, wash your hands, you know, don't be an asshole and go on trips and party with your friends. Due to the pandemic, I think we are showing more details in our appearance due to wearing face coverings and working remotely from home. Wearing more details? If anything, I'm wearing less details and I'm seen at less detail through my pixelated webcam. <laughs> now part of our style is more incorporated into our nails and eye makeup. <laughs> RIP my eyes. <laughs> That said, matchy matchy manicures and masks aren't going anywhere. Now I don't have this fun polka dot mask, but I do have this mask. So I'm just starting off here with a nice pale blue creme polish. Two coats, no, maybe three coats. And I'm using some white acrylic paint and a thin striping brush to draw the silhouette of the mask. Now I'm mixing up a custom PPE blue shade with acrylic paints to add in some finer details. Add a nice thick coat of glossy taco to seal in the fate of humanity. And wow, nail art inspired by public health guidelines. Now, how do I look? About to be nominated for best dressed in 2021? <laughs> it's that stay at home and leave me alone look. The article concludes with, although no one can really predict what 2021 will be like, with these expert approved manicure ideas, we can at least rest well with the knowledge that if anything, at least our nails will be really, really good. Amen to that. When all else fails, paint your nails. The world is crumbling and everyone is dying, but paint your nails. <laughs> 
Sometimes it's hard to know when to take things seriously, but then also balance it with um, having a little bit of a sense of a humor so you don't lose your mind. <laughs> All right, so my thoughts on these trends overall. I don't really do my nails on a day-to-day -day basis thinking of, am I following the trend? Is this a Pantone color of the year? I just do whatever I feel like doing. Case in point, <laughs> unless there's some ridiculous viral nail art trend or hack that that I need to try, then yes, I guess then I might follow the trend. But other than that, you know, I encourage you to just do whatever you feel like on your nails. What color do you like? What finish do you like? Do you like things changing colors in front of your eyes? Do you like sparkles? Do you like rainbows? There's just so many possibilities. <laughs> Life is just too short to have boring nails. Anyways, happy new year. I wish everyone good health in 2021 and great nails. And if you're someone who thinks you're no good at doing your nails so you don't even bother, I think you got some time this year to try and practice, girl or boy. <laughs> I actually don't mind the matching your manicure to your mask idea. I think it's kind of a fun way to tie in, you know, something new that we have to do, but also make it yourself. Personally, I would rather match my nails to maybe a more exciting mask like this one. I don't have it yet, it's in the mail, okay? The postal service has been very busy. <laughs> All right, everybody, let me know down below in the comments if there's any nail trends that you want simply to try this year. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later, bye!